This is from a company called Cosmic Element. I may look a little bit wrecked. The other day, I fell. I mean, I fell big time. I, I guess I tripped over my sandal. I don't know. Anyway, I ended up falling completely backwards like a tree. And my head landed on the curb. And uh, so, I'm very sore. So anyway, um, the label's on upside down. It's not supposed to be. Uh, but, you know, sometimes there's little mistakes here and there. And the label being upside down, it, it doesn't do anything wrong to the product. But this is prickly pear seed oil or fig seed oil. And I think they're one and the same. And at first, I just want to say, I was a little bit confused about this. I didn't realize that this, <laughs> it makes so much sense now. It just pops off just like that but no no but at first I was like how do I squeeze the thing to get stuff out I'm gonna take my glasses off again forgive my eyes because I know I'm looking wrecked because I am just I went straight back so I hit my back my shoulders and then my head hit the curb so uh, anyway I always shake my essential oils up and then of course it has a little squeezy top and what I've been using it for is under eyes just your face for like you know it's called it says it rejuvenates so at this age I'm not gonna tell you how old I am but you know I try different things and I really do like essential oils I'm talking and then it, it's like a are you being nosy mister are you being nosy? They know you. Every time I make a video, you usually have to come over and smell around. Yeah, he usually does. He just comes over and checks. Make sure everything's okay. I'm not, you know, nothing here is food because that's his priority in life is if I have some kind of food, you know, he's all in. So just squeeze yourself out a little bit like a yellow to it and if I had two hands normally I have two hands but instead of putting it on the tripod I just thought I'm just gonna hold it so I just put some drips and it goes a long way and just rub it in it's um it's like a refreshingness so I like it and it really doesn't have any smell to it, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that before. But yeah, it really, it doesn't really smell like anything. So I would imagine if you wanted to use it as a carrier for a scent, you can. Never get these like in your eyes because it's going to burn. I'm not 100% sure it's going to burn, but most likely it's going to burn because it's not meant. So under your eyes and my place where I'm showing some age is my I would say my laugh lines here my laugh lines are in the corners of my eyes here and my old lady thing that I'm getting is this here so I constantly if I'm putting something on my face I'm gonna make sure I put it right here under my neck because I was getting these, I guess they call it crepey skin. I was start, starting to see these lines right here, you know, and it kind of hurt my feelings. I was like, no, not, the, not my neck. <laughs> so, yeah, it's actually pretty much gone away under there. And it, it was like all here, like it was like a section right here. It was just, uh, it really wasn't like hangy or anything. It was just not a great texture. So, if you catch these things early, you know, you can head them off at the path. But even 
if you've already got some major creepiness going on or wrinkles, you know, if you put some effort into it, things are going to get better. You don't always have to go have plastic surgery. You can just, there's so many products out there now that really help. And essential oils, plant oils, they're amazing. They're, they're just so healing. So I'm pretty sure the name, I'm not wearing glasses, Cosmic Elements. And uh, it, so far so good. You know, I've been through a really rough couple of days. And I was in the hospital yesterday just for some CAT scans and to make sure there wasn't any bleeders and all that happy stuff. So I may look a little bit like, oh, but uh, it's not this fault. It's just my, I had a little rough life lately. But yeah, it feels so silky. I love stuff like that. When you put something on that is like silky like that, it just, it automatically makes your skin feel better. And I, I'm also working on the whole line of my lip had like little white, you know, you could, I could only see them when I like do that. But this is where I get cold sores. Um, so I think that's what that was, but I've been working on that. They seem to have quieted a bit. They're much lighter. There's one that's larger because I, I had a tool and I was working on it. Probably shouldn't be messing with it. But, uh, yeah. So I've been working on that. Because whatever that line is, I don't like it. So, yeah, give it a try. I also I have really crazy allergies didn't bother me one bit so I'd say if I can use it almost anybody can because sometimes my allergies are just a pain in the butt so just remember like this is like a safety cap so it's not gonna get squeezed so if you want to put it in your purse put its cap back on and this way the uh, eyedropper piece isn't gonna get squished or anything but yeah, it reminds me of the, if you ever smelled shea butter, it's, it reminds me of that. It like really has no scent at all, but it has this really light scent, if that makes any sense. sense. I really can't smell anything, but it's just this very light back scent, and it reminds me of all natural shea butter not the kind that your grandma used but the kind that is around today the kind that is thick that you have to melt in your hands that kind of shea butter it just has that even one note shea butter but yeah give it a try and uh i definitely i've only had this a couple of days so i can't really show you anything magnificent but um i'll continue to use it and i'll i'll come back and i'll refresh i'll just add some pictures to the end of the video or if it's really fantastic uh you know i'll make a separate video but anytime i am trying a product i only use this product i do not use any other things on my face except makeup every once in a while you know but I dedicate my face to this right now. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I will uh, put their information down below. Uh, so you can check it out. And also check out their storefront to see what other things they have. So. Alright. And it's Cosmic Elements. And this is the Prickly Pear Oil. It's, it's a fig seed oil. So I actually didn't know that prickly pear and figs were the same thing. So, alrighty, I'm going to go back to sleep now. Just, it hurts. I can't get comfortable. And you hear all those cracks? Maybe you couldn't hear them, but I'm so crunchy. But the uh, doctor said that nothing was broken, just things are bruised. And uh, definitely things are itching. 
and the lump on my head it has spread out so it used to be like big but now it seems to have spread out instead of being tall it's kind of like I can feel it up like up here now it was all the way back here now it's here but they did a cat scan of my brain to make sure there wasn't any bleeders or I didn't crack my skull open so oh well that was terrible uh I we had just got to my nephew's reception and I had just drove like two hours and I I guess I tripped on my flip-flop I don't know it happened so quick and I started falling and I was trying to like stop myself from falling and I ended up making it so that I fell is like wee, straight back and I like hit my body and then my head right on the curve like a pillow and I just looked there and then all of a sudden all these men they were like man 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 and I was like oh god it was uh what do you call them valets they were all out there and I was so embarrassed oh well thankfully I did not lose consciousness that would have been really embarrassing and you know, it could have been worse. So. Alright, thank you for watching. I'm going to go night-night now. With my puppies. Because he's already sleeping over here. He's never far from me. Alright. You want to come and say goodbye, misters? Come on over here and say goodbye. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You want to come and say goodbye with me? Hmm? Hold on. This bright light is so bright. Look, the light. The light is so bright. That's my boy right there. He's staying with mommy and keeping me company. Right, mister? I love you too. Yeah? That's my sweeties. Yeah? Are you my sweeties? My sweetie puppy dog who has... A TV addiction. I don't know. Does anybody else have their dog that's addicted to the television? Oh, you know, they're tired. Are you ready for sleeping? Hmm? Are you ready for sleeping? Hmm? And then when I'm laying down, he's going to come over and try to lick all the fig oil off my face. That's how he rolls. Hey, are you a good boy? Hmm? Are you a good boy? What are you worried about? Ah, uh, see? Don't you lick my fig oil, mister. That's a big tongue you got, you crazy puppies. All right, so we'll say goodbye, because we're going to go. No, I said that wrong. I'm so sorry. We're just going to go seepies. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say the G-O word. Are you ready for seepies? You want to cuddle? <laughs> he likes to cuddle. He's a cuddler. All right, we're going to go now. Go to see peace and cuddle. Say goodbye so we can go cuddles. Goodbye. I'm going to go cuddles with mommies, okay? First, she's going to have to rub my tummy. Cause I'm gonna... Don't you try to lick my fig oil, mister. <laughs> I actually try to always read to see if uh, if he licked it or something, if he was going to get sick, because he really does have a tendency of smelling everything, licking everything, right? Right, Mr. Pups? Right, buddy? All right, he's a good boy. Yeah. You know what's happening? This is what's happening. The TV's on. And that's what he is. Addicted to the television. So, look at him. What is he doing? Watching TV. Watching TV with his neck like that. What a weirdo. Why are you watching TV like that? Because I'm crazy. 
I I really do think he has a problem. I think he has a TV addiction. Did you see how he was watching it with his neck all to the side? There he goes again. Yeah, I'm telling on you the way you're always watching TV. I'm talking to you. What do you do? You just start watching TV. Especially when the sound's on. He has... See? He has commercials that he loves. He could be in a dead sleep and he will wake up for those commercials. Watch them and go back to sleep. His little dew claws are always bothering him. When I used to raise poodles, I know people hate this, but as soon as they were born, I would cut the dew claws off. Like this very second, pretty much, that they came out, I would cut their dew claws off. Those dew claws, the little claws on the side of their arms, they catch on things. And they get, well, certain kinds of dogs are more susceptible to that. And I really think it's like the poodley and the Maltese hair type dogs. But his dew claws are always hurting. I gotta stop talking and go to sleep. Alright. Thanks for listening. I'll put their URL down below. And uh, don't forget to take a look at their storefront. Okay. Bye. Bud. I love you. Do you love mommy? Say goodbye. <laughs>